Okay, so that brings us to the end of the talk day, of the last day, of the first All Systems Go conference. Um, so, yeah, this is the first year. Um, we were very fortunate to have uh, um, a really good group of uh, people to help us out. So, first of all, the first thing I would like to do so they can, so I'm not standing up here alone, actually, is to get all the people who helped out along the way to come, come up. Uh, that's the organizers, volunteers, um, the, uh, the first speakers who signed on, the topic representatives. Uh, please come on up. <laughs> Gianluca? <laughs> Is there anybody missing? Yes, okay, good. Lars is coming. Um, and Daniel is downstairs. He was, behind the, he was behind the bar doing the video stuff the whole time, and he always avoids uh, photos and getting on stage. Uh, but I think you probably saw him back there. So yeah, he's definitely a part of the team. Um, yeah, so first of all, uh, um, a round of applause for everyone, which you already did, thank you. But another one. <laughs> I would especially like to um, thank Lexi for helping out so much. Uh, she had most of the burden of uh, doing all the things. <laughs> and so like all the graphics you see, anything printed, anything like that uh, is her doing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we actually came on, we started this uh, adventure um, I don't know, it was like the beginning of, uh, kind of the beginning of 2017, and then I was talking to individuals, and then some people signed on, like, yeah, let's do this thing. And uh, so we're very happy to have now gotten there and finished it up, uh, so that we can actually start thinking about next year without all the pressure of actually getting really close to it yet. Um, so yeah, so we will be doing this next year. Um, and uh, a group of companies that actually helped us get to this point is are the sponsors. Um, so I want to thank them again. Um, so the terrestrial sponsors, uh, we had Red Hat, uh, which we have a lot of people. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we're doing that again. Okay. <laughs> we have OpenSUSE. <laughs> yeah, we have Holga and uh, Daniel, who's been helping doing the video stuff. Uh, then we have Pantheon. Right there. <laughs> uh, Google. And thank you, Matthew, for hooking up with something that. Uh, <laughs> um, Core OS, of course. And the people from Chef. And our lunar um, sponsors who, hey, Redbeard, you're supposed to be up here, man. <laughs> Uh, and our lunar sponsors, uh, which we were very happy to have, and were actually, you know, participated a lot. I mean, you saw a lot of talks from the Facebook people. They had, I think, eight people in total here. Um, and so we're very, very happy to have their support. And uh, like I said, I'm from Kinfolk. Uh, we uh, were really interested in doing this thing. It was kind of a selfish thing because I think a lot of you know we were involved with the System Deconf uh, organization, uh, but we, we do a lot of things at this level. And so we were like, actually, we'd like to talk about that other stuff as well. Um, and so it was a kind of a vehicle for that. It was a vehicle for, you know, um, at a System Deconf, people were submitting stuff that was not really System D stuff, but it was the space level that was interesting for us all and had some relationship with all of it together. So um, yeah, we're very happy we were able to realize that. Um, okay, am I running out of things, I think? Um, yeah, I have to make sure I'm thanking everybody. Oh, hold on, there's one really big group. Yeah, and um, our, our media sponsors were Linux Magazine, so yeah, I have to add that one, sorry. <laughs> uh, and one of the most visible groups of people that you don't see, uh, I know, it's an oxymoron, are the video people. So. Um, 
That's the group of the um, CCCVOC. What does that stand for, Daniel, exactly? OK, the Chaos Communications Congress Video Operations Center. Uh, it's great to have them. I mean, your, your talks were live streamed. They were up on, well, except for yesterday when we had the power outage because of the smoking electrical box. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we had, their videos are up on YouTube and, and the, the VOC service uh, within an hour. It's pretty amazing, and we're very happy to have that. So, I would actually like to have a question and comment section, because, uh, session. I would like, we have things that, you know, maybe we wouldn't know we need to do differently, but how about you guys? What did you like the best? What would you change? I don't know. Raise your hands and I'll give you the mic. I'm sure I've heard opinions. <laughs> I, I heard, for example, there was not enough meat at the, at the, at the, at the uh, food trucks. To, to be honest, when we ordered the burger truck, we did not know it was an all vegan burger truck. <laughs> we knew they had vegan burgers, but we didn't know that's all they had. Uh, but yeah, I think they were pretty good. <laughs> What's that? There you go, okay, so, better coffee. I, I have heard that. Um, <laughs> um, I would have liked Club Mate, is that one thing? Yeah. You, okay, so. you like the charity uh, mate? Okay, cool. That's good to hear, I mean, I think actually the charity office, it's, a, it's the beverage, one of the beverage companies that offers back there. They actually have an office uh, in this building. So I think that's why they have that. <laughs> yeah, um, anything else? Were there too many? Yeah. I will gladly pay more for better beer, for real beer. You would pay more for better beer, okay. So I must say, um, so with this conference, uh, so as you know, when you get a receipt or anything, everything comes from Kinfolk. We are not trying to make any money on this conference. In fact, we're like, I think about 10,000 and minus this year that we're covering ourselves. Um, but we want to do more. Uh, offering, you know, we would love to offer just, you give you a ticket and you can get something from the catering uh, company or whatever like that. Um, so if we can get more sponsor money, that will all go towards, you know, making uh, things like uh, more beer, better beer, more coffee, and making it free, that will make it, uh, you know, possible. So we're, so contact the people in your organization who do this and see if they can sponsor, because uh, it's just going to go into the conference. Uh, um, more things? I'll run around. <laughs> it would be great to have uh, plastic water bottles so they don't have to care about them so much and you can close them. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How, how were the water bottles here? They were glasses, okay, from the back. Okay, sorry, we had our own stash back here, so. <laughs> I wanted to thank that the price was so cheap that allowed me as a hobbyist to come and enjoy all these things. That was absolutely something we were, we were hoping. Uh, we would like more students, as many as possible, um, to come. Um, I think one of the things that I think about with this is that, you know, I don't know, in the early 2000s, you know, not everything was under, you know, I, I like, I mean, I'm going to a Linux Foundation event right after this, literally right after this. We should be there at midnight tonight. Um, and so, but it seems like a lot of things are falling under the Linux Foundation um, thing, and those are usually very expensive, and there's a lot of more show and, uh, I guess, marketing stuff, and that's not what this is trying to be. It's trying to be really a community conference where everybody can uh, participate. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll try to um, keep it that way. So thanks for that feedback. Thank you for having a code of conduct. It made me more comfortable to attend. Yeah, um, yeah, thanks for that. Um, yeah, we actually got to that later than we wanted to, uh, as we did with 90% of the things we were doing. Um, but we'd also like actually want to thank one of our sponsors, because uh, they actually kicked her butt on that, uh, because uh, Chef, uh, they have a requirement that you have a code of conduct. Uh, but since we were already actually looking at doing this, we were actually looking at the Chef code of conduct already before they said that, 
And, uh, and we actually adopted that because um, they have a very thorough one, which is based on the Ada Foundation um, Code of Conduct and the, um, uh, which I think is then also from the Python Foundation. And so, yeah. Um, but yeah, and also diversity is something we have to uh, get better at here. So we will definitely be doing uh, more work in that area. Yeah. I have a question. Um, what do you think about having a hacker day or a workshop day, stuff like that? Uh, okay, we, okay, actually to get all, a lot of this feedback, um, we will be sending a, um, a questionnaire out, a survey, and we will be asking you for your feedback on this and then we can you know, run the numbers. Um, so those things are gonna be questions like that. Uh, questions like, should this be on the weekend or should it be a weekday? Should we make it at the end of the week and then have maybe a hacker, hacker session on the weekend? And so we'll be asking these questions. So expect that in the next, I would say, probably two weeks. Um, yeah. Any more? Any more comments, questions? Uh, I like the venue. It's a lot more interesting than uh, like a standard hotel conference room or something like that. A bit more atmosphere. We can't afford those anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like it too. <laughs> um, just to reiterate the community um, approach of it and no vendors and everything it's nice to go to um, conferences like that for a change cool yeah, yeah I mean also some of the things in your questionnaire are going to be like to this like should we have uh, project booths for open source projects and things like that um, you know that's kind of thinking like looking like Fostum or something uh, what we're trying to do very different than things like Fostum is stay very focused on this uh, and not try to go everywhere. But yeah. I actually liked that there weren't product booths. I, I liked that none of these people are marketers, that there are no marketers here, that nobody was trying to sell me any products, and that I felt like there was a lot more honesty about like defects in code and problems with things because we're not a bunch of marketers or developer advocates or things like that. We're just the people who work on things. So I felt like the lack of booths was awesome. Is that like project, like, op like you know, if Debian came, for example, or, <laughs> okay, well, aren't we all, though? <laughs> We're all trying to write code and get everybody to use it, so. <laughs> okay, cool, thanks. Okay, then. Anybody else have anything? Yeah, Lexi? Um, I just wanted to kind of thank Chris, because he's put his heart and soul into this, and if we could all just kind of give him a round of applause, it would be great. So, I guess that's a wrap for All Systems Go. Oh, we have one. Somebody else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can somebody, a selfie, how do we do that? We don't have that arm. <laughs> well, we have a photographer here. Hold on. Can you get in the middle, maybe? Say selfie we could just sit here and I'll see up here. And we'll see. Okay, okay. After we say, bye, we're going we're gonna to do that after we. Uh... Anyway, so I, I guess that's it for All Systems Go 2017. We will try to do one next year. And uh, yeah, so keep your eyes out on our Twitter feed. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to say. We have videos. The videos are up there. If you like one, share it on whatever avenue you use for that. And uh, yeah, that'll get the word out about what we do, or what, you know, what this is about. And yeah, so thanks for coming. <laughs>